peace, blessings, and love, family. This is Elder Rasan Shakur out of the great city of New Orleans, Louisiana, coming to you with a great <clears throat> and very informative video. Peace, blessings, and love to all the melanated family and mankind. Well, family, as you know, we are living in a very racist country, a very racist world that is being run by very evil entities. I got a little clip I want to play to the family. We must start doing for self. I'm going to play this a little clip and I'm going to come back with my commentary. William J. Powell was an American businessman, entrepreneur, and pioneering golf course owner who designated the Clearview Golf Club the first integrated golf course as well as the first to cater to African American golfers. He was also the first African American to design, construct, and own a professional golf course in the United States. Hmm. Powell was the grandson of Alabama slaves and was born in Greenville, Alabama. During his youth, Powell moved with his family to Minerva, Ohio. In high school, he played golf and football. After serving in the United States Army Air Forces in World War II in England, he returned to the Canton, Ohio area near Minerva in 1946 and began work as a janitor and later as a security guard. Due to racial segregation, he was banned from all white public golf courses and was rejected for a bank loan to try to build his own hmm. with financing from two African-American doctors and a loan from his brother. Powell bought a 78 acre dairy farm in East Canton, Ohio with his wife, Marcella did most of the landscaping by hand. Two years later in 1948, he opened the integrated Clearview golf club in 1978. He expanded the golf course to 18 holes and earned a National Historic Site designation in 2001. Folks, just imagine that for a moment. Hmm. Mr. Powell did the majority of the landscaping for an 18-hole golf course. This man was very determined, and he proved that when we put our mind to it, we can accomplish anything. He did. Did you hear that, family? This was way back in the 40s and 30s when black people were denied this, that, and the other on their own land. That this is our land. The whole planet is our land. This, this brother was determined to build his own. And just like this brother said, we can do anything if we put our mind to it. And we must start doing for each other. We must start building our own and stop depending on this evil entity that has no love, no compassion, no empathy for us. You saw that in the Brianna, Brianna Taylor situation. Michael Brown and a host of more black people Start doing for self, family. Start doing for self. We have no, we have no uh, allies. We have nobody but ourselves. But the sad part about it, we are so united. We, we are so hateful. We are against each other. It's bad enough we're fighting these devils and other racist groups all over the planet. And we don't have no love. We don't have no communication. We don't have no unity with each other. This brother proved that you can do anything. And we can't. We've been doing anything we, we want before we was colonized, before our lands in America, in Africa, in Australia, and everywhere else was invaded by this evil entity. 
and colonize and program to be dislike him. That's right, family. So I salute my brother William J. Powell for doing what he did, getting his own. If it's white only, get your own. Fuck you need them for. The Chinese people got their own. The Jewish people got their own. The Vietnamese people got their own. The Arabs. They ain't dependent on us. And they is dependent on us. Because they put, set up their stoves and everything else in our neighborhoods. This, that, and the other. But black people must come together right now. We have no friends. Dr. John Henry Clark, words has come to fruition. And they got a lot of people think we got friends. They think Joe Biden is your friend. Or Donald Trump, or the Republican Party, or the Democratic Party, the judicial system, the police department. None of them ain't our friends. All of them is against us on our own land, on our own planet. And black people can't seem to get it. Can't seem to get it because of the programming and the conditioning, because of the will and let you fact, because of the bad diet, the miseducation, the vaccination shots, the rap music, television, and everything else that is negative and evil. That's right, family. But family, we're going to cut this video short, put up the likes and shares. Stay tuned for the next video of live streaming. The Elders out.